Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we will learn how to connect to MySQL database in Visual Studio Code and run queries in Visual Studio Code. So let's start. So we needed an extension to connect to MySQL database. So we'll go to this extension tab and here I'll search for MySQL. We will download and install the second one by Venchen. Install this and here the detail is given how the pictures works and how can it be installed installed and how you can connect to your database so now the extension is installed so i'll close this and i'll close this as well now you can see these two icons here on this icon you can connect to database here you can see create connection button you can also connect with this plus button but before connecting here we will go to workbench and i will show you the databases so work connect to root the password is root and you can see we here we have the system database and we have two user defined databases demo and test now we will connect so i'll close this so we will create a connection here so from here we can connect to our mysql database so here is the connection name you can give it any name and now if we go down here this is the host name which is local host 127.0.0.1 is local host and this is the default port which mysql is using 330 06 if you have changed your port you will use that here and this is the username of our database server and this is the password of our server so here we are using root username and we are using root password so i'll use root here and here you can mention a specific database to which you want to connect but we won't mention any database here if i click on this connect so it will automatically connect as you can see here it has connected so now if i expand this you can see the demo and the test the user databases that we have created or that was already created in mysql so now i can add a database here so to add a database here i'll click on this plus button and it has given me this query of uh, create database so here i can give my database name so i'll name this test db and now i'll come here as you can see an execute button above this create i'll click on this and effect it draws one and you can see test db here we will expand this test db now if i expand this you can see here tables but we do not have any table inside this so i'll add in a table so i'll click on this plus button and it will create me a create table query now i'll change this table name to std underscore tbl and i'll remove this column and then we have name worker and then i'll put a comma here and uh, father name worker 255 comma and then address 255 and i'll remove this comment and this so uh, and now if i execute this i'll come to this execute button above this create and click on this and it will execute this query if i expand the tables you can see std table here we want to add some records into this std table so for that i will right click on this table and i'll come to this sql template and uh, i'll come to this insert template so it will create an insert query for us we will provide the values here and this second brackets the first one is id so i'll provide one and then is the name so it is work or value so we will put it in single quotes single quotes and i'll name this uh, tanvir and then father name quotes and i'll use Khan and then address so for address i will use a uh, pesha so now this query is complete i have to go to top and here we have this execute button so if i click on this execute so you can see that uh, one row affected so now if i right click on this table this td table this table template and select template so as you can see here it has created a i select query a below this insert query so now if i execute this now you can see that one record which we have inserted now if i make this two and if i make this uh, ali and now if i execute this again and now if i go down and execute this query so now you can see that a second record is inserted as well so in this way you can insert and uh, retrieve or select records uh, from your sql table if i want to uh, drop this table or want to truncate this table so i'll right click on this uh, table and now if i come first i will truncate this now if i come to this truncate table and click on this so it will ask me if you want to truncate this table so if i click on this yes so it will truncate the table now if i execute this uh, select query now you can see we do not have any record now if i want to delete or to drop this table so i'll right click on this and drop this table it will ask me are you want to drop table yes and it will drop the table similarly you can drop the database as well so i'll right click on this and i'll come to this drop and it will ask me to insert the database name that you want to 
to drop so i'll test db and hit enter the database is dropped so in this way you can connect to mysql database in visual studio code and run queries and create databases and tables so i think that's all for today i hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you